Well, hello. This is probably the most scenic spot I've ever filmed at. I'm in the south of Germany right now enjoying some evening sun and I randomly walked up this hill and I saw this view and I was like this is the perfect video location I have to film here. Anyways, welcome or welcome back. If you don't know me, I'm Iris. This is also my first unscripted video and I feel like whenever I sit down in front of a camera my mind just goes blank. But this topic is very close to my heart so I didn't want this to be a scripted video. However, I already had a brain dumping session today and did write down all of the things I want to touch upon in this video just to make sure I don't forget anything. I quit my engineering job a while ago to take a gap year. I wasn't quite happy where I was at and I also wasn't happy with the direction my life was heading towards. I don't want to go too much into detail because I already shared this story on one of my past videos. However, I made the decision to take a break and explore other options. I wanted to give myself the opportunity to dive into my creativity for a little bit, spending more time with family and friends in the hopes of finding something that I feel more aligned with. In the beginning, I didn't really want to talk about this with other people because I felt judged. I felt like they wouldn't understand. However, the more I talked to other people about this, especially people my age, a lot of them opened up and told me that they were struggling with the same. They felt like they weren't going in the right direction but didn't quite know what to do. And I also got a lot of feedback from you guys. Some of you were working in tech too but felt really burnt out and have been thinking about quitting as well. So I know that there's a lot of us who are kind of going through the same situation but I don't really see this topic talked about a lot, especially on YouTube and that's what I want to change. So I just wanted to touch on a few things that have been on my mind recently, things that I've struggled with and also things that I've learned while taking this time off, allowing my body to rest, taking care of my mental health while trying to figure out what other opportunities are out there. Please excuse the donkey sounds in the background. <laughs> Starting over is scary and if you're currently going through a similar situation just know that you're not alone. Here are a few things I've learned over the past few months that I'd like to share with you guys. Just because others do something doesn't mean I have to do it too. No matter if a certain career path brings a lot of money and happiness to someone else, it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to follow that too. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna make me happy as well. I know we compare ourselves a lot with other people, especially nowadays with social media, and it's hard to look at someone and at the perfect life they're living and think this wouldn't make me happy. And so we try and strive to have the same achievements as others. We try and get into really good schools and get an amazing job that pays really well. And if that's the right thing for some people, then that's perfect, that's fine. But there's nothing wrong with admitting that it's not your thing. You're not made to fit a certain mold. Only you know what makes you happy and if you find something that does, or at least you think it might, it's never too late to pivot and change directions, which kind of ties in with the next point. You don't need to prove your point to anyone else or explain yourself. And this is something that I'm still having a hard time with. Every now and then people will come up and say quitting a well-paid software engineer job was a stupid move. And then I feel like I have to explain my decisions to random people. But essentially we have to accept that most people have different opinions and that's fine. If you can feel it in your heart that something is not right for you, then that's all the evidence you need, whether someone else understands it or not. The second thing I want you to remember is that you don't need to follow the same career path for the next 30 years. Please don't let anyone talk you into this, especially nowadays. It's not like we have to choose a career and stick with it until we die anymore. The generations before us did, because they had no other options, but we do. You can change your career path at any time. This is your decision. And if you have the chance and the means to do it, go for it. <sighs> I have to move because the mosquitoes are eating me alive. I think it's sad that it's normalized to be unhappy in your job and people say, well, just suck it up. Because what good does that do to any of us? I really don't want this for my life and I know that many people don't want this either. We only have this one life and there are so many possibilities. So why not go out there and explore and see if there's something for you, no matter where that might be or what it might look like. Essentially, you are the only person who can save yourself. And I don't want to sit around in misery, but go out there and pursue something that makes me feel alive. And if it fails, that's fine, but at least I gave it a shot. There are still many, many days where I feel down, where I feel like a failure. I'm frustrated because I'm still not where I wanna be in my life. And to be honest, I still have no clue where I'm gonna end up. But I do think it has something beautiful too, because I still have so many open doors ahead of me. 
One thing I'm appreciating right now is that I have a lot more time for things I couldn't be bothered working on when I was still busy with my full-time job. For example, for the past few months, I've been putting a lot of work into my YouTube channel and I'm slowly starting to see the rewards of this, which is really exciting. I collaborated with a brand for the first time on a sponsored video. I'm making a little bit of money from AdSense. It is definitely not enough to be able to live from it, but it has become my favorite project to work on during the past year. Will I be a full-time YouTuber one day? I don't know. For now it's fun and that's where I'm putting my focus, but I'm still in that transitioning phase, I'm still starting over, I'm in this period of questioning my identity, and even though I still feel like a failure every now and then, I know that I'm doing so much better than a year ago and that's all that matters. I just want to mention that I do know that I'm in a very privileged position and that not everyone can afford to simply take a year off. I did save up a lot of money while I was working my full-time job and I'm also lucky enough to be able to spend a lot of my time at my parents' place. It's not my goal to ultimately make as much money as I did in my engineering job. I did have a nice salary back then, but in my opinion that's not worth the burnout and sleepless nights that I had. And I know that this is a very personal opinion and it obviously depends on how many hours you're working, which company you're working at, as well as your own relationship with work, which I had a really bad one back then. But in general, I'd rather be happier, earn less money and live a more simple life. As I said, this is just my personal opinion. There's nothing wrong with working a regular 9 to 5. And there are amazing jobs out there. I just haven't found the perfect one for me, but I know I will eventually. If you resonate with this and you're currently feeling lost as well and you'd like to change your path in life or you're just not quite happy with where you're at right now, you're definitely not alone. And it's okay to every now and then take a step back and slow down and reevaluate if there's any way you could change that. It doesn't even have to be an adult gap year. But I really, really hope that you don't feel the pressure to follow a certain path you're not happy with just because other people expect you to. Don't let anyone tell you what you have to do with your life. There are endless possibilities out there and you deserve to be happy. On that note, I hope you're having an amazing day and see you soon. Bye!